In these two examples, we are trying to determine whether or not the given shapes are similar to each other. So here in number four, we have two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Notice that they are both isosceles. Okay? So these are both um, isosceles triangles. And we want to check whether or not they are um, similar to each other. And you can see that they have these angles here that within the same triangles are congruent with each other and within these two are congruent to each other, but they may not necessarily be congruent to the other, to each other. Okay. The other way that we can check this is by looking at um, the proportion of the side lengths. So if you were to compare AB, you would have to compare it to DE. So AB over DE is uh, equal to 5 over 6 and then the other side length right here, the other leg would be AC and uh, over DF, right? So this would also be 5 over 6 and so it looks pretty good, right? So both of these have the same ratio but the problem comes when you compare BC and EF big problem here that comes because you have 3 over 4 and there is no way that 3 over 4 is equal to 5 over 6. 3 over 4 is exactly equal to 0.75 right, just for your reference and then 5 over 6 uh, this is equal to 0 0.833333 repeating. Okay. So these are, these are definitely not equal to each other. These proportions are not equal to each other. Therefore, the two triangles are not similar okay, based on the information that we are given. They are definitely not similar okay, because the proportions do not match perfectly, even though they are both isosceles. So let's move on to example five. And here, if you notice, all of the angles here are 90 degrees. And you want to, many of us want to jump the conclusion and say, of course, they're similar because they're all 90 degrees. But that may not be true either. We have to check the proportionalities. So let's check WX over DA. So this will give us 24 over 6, which is equal to 4. We don't have to, we don't have to check the bottom here. You can see that BC and ZY, they're going to be the same proportion as this. So we just have to check the, the vertical lengths here. Um, XY over AB, and this will give us 16 over 4, so this will be equal to 4 as well. So we know that the, all of the proportions will match, that the, the two horizontal lengths are the same as the, the two vertical lengths. So we can say that yes, they are similar. Uh, we can say uh, quadrilateral WXYZ is similar to quadrilateral DABC. Okay, so here, there's, here's two good examples, one of two objects that are not similar and one that is. And we do that by looking at angles and investigating a little bit. We also have to, to check the proportionality of the sides. As always, ask for help if you need it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.